first rodeo I went out there and didn't go too well. <laughs> I got my hand stepped on, it was all swollen and purple. The smell of dust, hay and animals triggers a whirlwind of worry every time Joel Benuelos crosses the freshly groomed arena at the edge of Oakdale's city limits. I'm a short kid. <laughs> I'm, I'm challenged a little bit. But his size, his experience, and his fears, that's all in the back of his mind. One of them suckers, the one up front I've gotten on, he, uh, he dragged me across this fence pretty nice. Ahead of him is an animal several times his size and a legacy older than he can remember. Well, my grandpa did it, my dad did it, my stepdad did it. So it was kind of just kind of falling along. They kind of threw the idea at me. I was like, well, heck, let's try it. There's few things in life more important to 13-year-old Joel Banuelos than his name. What I mean by the name is like the last name, like I'm carrying on the Banuelos blood. You know, my grandpa was a very successful uh, Mexican rodeo star. He was very well known. Uh, so is my dad. From the back of a bucking bronc in Zacatecas, Mexico, is where the Banuelos rodeo legacy first started. Joel's grandfather, Antonio Banuelos, better known as Don Tonio, was a master in charreria, a traditional form of Mexican rodeo. Don Tonio would eventually migrate to California and pass his love for the sport to Joel's father, Joel Sr., and then to Joel himself. To be completely honest with you, I'm kind of psycho in the head, so I was just like, hey, let's try this out. Here come. And try he did. At the age of just nine years old, he climbed onto his first calf. I just nodded my head and they let it out and I just flew. Joel left with an injured hand and a bruised ego, but he learned one of the most important lessons in rodeo, get back on. My mom was like, oh, for sure, he doesn't want to do this anymore. I went up to her after they checked my arm and everything. I was like, can I do it again? Not the answer I wanted to hear, but okay, okay, we'll, we'll try it again. In 2017, Joel's mom would go on to watch him win the Northern California Calf Riding Finals. Then in 2018, the Clements Jr. Stampede Calf Riding Championships. And in 2021, three different steer riding championships. It's in his heart and it's in his blood. With the family's Chararia legacy coursing through his veins and some help from his stepfather, Joel qualified for the Mini Bowl World Finals in Reno where he'll represent the U.S. and Mexico this November. Being Hispanic, being from Zacatecas, I think it's for him and just to show um, the Hispanic world that, hey, anything is possible. From the dusty bull riding arena in Oakdale, I'm John Bartell.